Okay, so let's go and figure out this super simple math problem right here and what we have is 6 divided by 2 times 3. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, we have very simple division, very simple multiplication, so everyone learned this stuff in the third grade, so that's fantastic. But a lot of people are arguing about the correct answer, one part of people tell that correct answer is 9, another part of people tell that correct answer is 1, and it turns into a big argument, so right now many people are going to get this problem incorrect, so if you could do this without a calculator, put your answer into the comment section, we have to opt option, option A, option B. I'll show you the correct answer, I'll show you both interpretation here in just one minute, and then I'm going to kind of really emphasize an extremely important basic math concept that is going to be the reason why a lot of you are going to do this incorrectly. So here is our challenge, here is our option, choose one option, what do you think is a correct, and write your option down into the comment section. Okay, I'm going to show you the first interpretation. So this is our first interpretation, here is our challenge, we have 6 divided by 2 and times and times 3. So this interpretation is uh, how calculators works nowadays. So according to order of operation, division and multiplication have the same precedence. So the correct order is to evaluate from left to right. Okay, so first we should take this division. So first we take 6 divided by 2, which is equal to 3. Yeah, and with this multiplication, so we still have this multiplication by 3. So it looks like a correct answer is is 9. So we have we have this 9. So this gets to the correct answer of 16. But some people have a different interpretation and while it's not the correct answer today, it would have been regarded as the correct answer 100 years ago. So some people may have learned this other interpretation more recently. But this is not the way calculators would evaluate the expression nowadays. So it was the first interpretation, but I want to show you the second interpretation. It looks like that, so here is our second interpretation, so we have 6 divided by 2 and times 3. So here is our second interpretation, but let's suppose it was maybe 1970 and you saw this question in a textbook, what would you think the author was trying to write? Historically the simple division right here was used to mean you should divide by the entire product on the right of the symbol. Okay, so what I mean, take a look closely, uh, 100 years ago when we have division, so it means that we divide whole entire expression on the right hand side, so saying in other words, it looks like that, we divide by the whole entire expression, doesn't matter what we have right here, we divide by the whole entire expression, so 2 times 3, I just take it in take it in parentheses. From this stage, the rest of calculation works by the order of operation, yeah? So first we evaluate the multiplication inside parentheses, because all the time multiplication is our first step. For example, let's look at this PMDMC, yeah, we have we have parentheses our first step, yeah? So we let's go with this parentheses at first, so we have 6 divided by 2 times 3 equal to, equal to 6, and we have this option option A, option B, yeah, we have one. So this is option B, this is option A. So I show you, already show you these two interpretations. This is first interpretation and this is our have a second interpretation. So this gives the result of 1. This is not the correct answer that calculators will evaluate, rather it's what someone might have interpreted the expression according to older usage. So right here, let's write that this is our older, older usage, older usage, usage, older usage. So right, uh, calculators not works like that nowadays. So this is maybe 100 years ago, maybe maybe 90, 70 years. So this is older, older usage. And if you wanted to um, explain this uh, part, take a look closely. For example, we have, we have maybe like x square, x square y, divided by maybe let's go with x y okay here's my question to you we divide this x square y by what by x by y by x times y so if you want to mention that we divide this by a whole x times y let's put brackets okay if you put parentheses okay then it is absolutely okay we divide this expression by the whole x x y but if you don't put parentheses so it's very bad, it's very bad case, because right here, just put parentheses, if you want to mention that we should divide by the whole entire expression, just put brackets as right here, okay, put brackets, and then we will have answer 1, which is correct in this case. But if you don't put brackets, the correct answer is 9, because this is how calculators works nowadays. If you don't trust me, you can easily check it into in your scientific graphing calculator, or you can easily check it in your in your regular calculator from your telephone, because your calculator is smart enough to know order of operation, and I hope you understand both of these cases. This is older usage, I hope you understand with this explanation, we should, we should put parentheses, okay? With parentheses, correct answer is 1, but in our case we don't have parentheses. And one part of students tell, okay, but let's uh, write this 6 divided by 2 as a fraction, okay, it doesn't matter, let's do this. So we have 6, 
divided by 2 as a fraction, yeah, and times 3. It changed nothing. It changed nothing for us. 6 divided by 2 equal to 3. And with this 3 times 3, this is equal to equal to 9. So a correct answer nowadays, a correct answer nowadays is option. Option A is a correct answer nowadays. But a lot of students uh, use this older usage, which is, which is bad, obviously, because this is like older usage 100 years ago. Calculators not works like that nowadays. It happens sometimes, but I hope you learn this interpretation, which is very, very useful, and it helps a lot in terms of, in terms of math. So this is my explanation to this challenge. I hope you learned something new. If you need help with any of these classes, you can just go through my YouTube channel. I have a ton of videos. So with that being said, I definitely wish all the best in your mathematic adventures and I hope you learn something new. If you don't trust me, you can easily check it into your scientific or graphing calculator. It's really great for you to check to check this uh, answer. And of course, don't feel bad if you got this wrong. Okay, if you need to learn basic math interesting brain test, I have a ton of videos. So with that being said, I definitely wish all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.